um, well, hey, go blue, right? Go blue. Okay. We got, listen, hold on. I'm looking at three of them right here. We got three. All, you're four for four. They're all four here. All four here. Adam's wrestling. They're here to be a moral support and coach. That's awesome. Okay. Um, your kids seem like best friends. What's that like having four boys who are best friends? Well, yeah, best friends that fight a little bit, right? And a little, uh, yeah, they, they, they are good. They're close. They've been close, which is been important to Lee and I. Um, we have tight kids. Okay. Um, smartest one. I was just actually talking to Zach. He seems to think mom's the smartest one, right? He said, I don't want to get in trouble. But, you know, you look at it, um, two guys going to Michigan, you know, you got a son on the team right now, right. another son going there. Um, obviously, you know, you're, you're wearing the pullover. It's not a mistake. Um, being well-rounded individuals seems really important to you. How, what, what is that, and what's it like raising well-rounded individuals right, as opposed to some people get caught up in winning and wrestling too much a little right. bit? You know, I, my, I believe you need to try to strive for excellence in all facets of life, whether that's wrestling great, but you have to be great in every area. And as you know, you know, wrestling will take you so far, but the lessons you learn in wrestling can translate into to life. And so it's very important to my, my wife and I that the kids focus on their academics with the same intensity and, and, and drive that they do for wrestling. Okay, so life. We're into life, you and I. You're into saving lives, okay? You're a doctor. You're an ER doctor. We had an incident here today. Um, we had an individual who, who had a, an, an episode, right? Yeah. And, and you guys were able to administer first aid and like save someone today. Yeah. What's that like? That's your life every day. That's your, your craft is saving lives and and helping people. What's it like when you can help somebody and save a life? Well, you know, you know, obviously you didn't anticipate that happening today and it's a very scary thing for the family to go through and very intense, uh, puts things in perspective quickly. Uh, but how, how we have an amazing response from the people here, other doctors, paramedics, nurses, you know, CPR, the AED, and the guy was talking to his wife when he left, which is uh, just so impressive. So, so impressive. You used the AED? Yes, yes. Those things are not just a thing hanging on the wall. That's a real thing you use. A real thing we use. And uh, Jared just told me that they're going to buy, OEC is going to buy an AED, and they're going to get a doctor's kit that uh, gives me a few more tools or other doctors that are going to have it and take them to the districts. So this is a, you know, a scary event that looks like it's going to have a happy ending and uh, could change lives as you move forward. And at the end of the day, that isn't, that's about this wrestling. You want to win, but gosh, when you have an event like that, it puts things way in perspective. Okay, you're a traveling man. You've got a guy up in Ann Arbor, which is about an hour from here. Um, you got these other two guys that are wrestling in high school that won championships last night in Perrysburg here in this gym. And then you got a youth kid. How do you spread it? Not spread yourself thin, but make sure you're kind of giving everybody the same amount of attention. How do you do that? Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a work in progress, right? You know, I'm fortunate to have a wonderful wife. Uh, you know, a lot of communication with the kids. They know I'm there. And, uh, you know, just try to uh, just try to put myself to give my, the attention to each kid that they need. And each kid at different times needs more attention. And it's I guess it's my job as a dad to figure out which kid needs more attention at that time. Okay, Mark Moses is telling me a story about the Seagate Center's kid broke his elbow at the Novice State Championship. You run the Novice State Championship. Yeah, yes. Unfortunate thing, but his kid finishes the match. Yeah. He was like super proud of it. He's yeah. like, yeah, my kid finished that match. And you know, showed some toughness, but getting kids involved, how you guys are. OAC obviously runs a ton of events. You've got, um, you know, the Novice State Championships at Seagate Center. Is that event something you're going to do every year? And what's the growth been like for you? Yeah, this is our, I think, seventh or eighth year doing it. It started as 200 kids. It's for the novice wrestler, the brand new wrestler. You know, I run a club at Delta. 80, 90% of my kids are novice by definition. They're new, they're green. They, they don't, they can't make it to the OAC State Tournament. I wanted to give those kids an opportunity to compete and get exposed gradually, experience some success. So we went uh, 200 kids when we start. We're up around 800 kids now competing at the Novice State Tournament, which will be February 2nd at the Seagate Center. February 2nd? February this, 2nd year, this year? Are you try and stay like February, end of January? Is that like the, the same weekend? The goal would be if all in February, either the beginning or the end of February. Yep. Okay. That's the goal. Um, if we wanted to get those novice kids and new kids, we don't want that season to be too long, right? Keep it in perspective. You know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah, we need to keep them involved and yes. not have them quit, right? right. It, it is, like you're saying, it's, it's a, not a horse race, it is a marathon. Um, how do I become a better dad? 
<laughs> Help me out. I need some magic. Can you, you know like... what? I, I know you. You're going to do a great job. I just think you know if you give if you give the time to the kids, if you care, kids know if you care about them. And uh, you know we make mistakes as parents. You move on. We, they make mistakes as kids. We move on. If you love them unconditionally and you push them to heights farther than they can think they think they can get, isn't that what it's all about? For sure. All right, you got anything else for me? You got a kid coming up. You got anything else for me? No, I'm glad you're here. Hey, thanks for the time. Congratulations on the two titles last night. That was good. And then Drew, Michigan, I'm going to talk to him about Michigan a little bit. Get in there, coach him up, save some lives, keep working, all right? All right, thanks, Sam.